Hey guys, Dr. Hunter Pines at the Pre-Med Pro Expert and I'm answering one of your questions. If you have a question about pre-med, go ahead, put it in the comment box below and I will answer it in video form like this if I can. Um, and today's question comes from a student who asked, should I do a post bat program or go to a Caribbean medical school? And this is a, the reason I chose to answer this question is this is a, a thought process that comes up for a lot of students where they feel like they're just on the borderline and they're at a crossroads where they could do a post back, improve their GPA, improve some of their extracurriculars a little bit, and maybe get over the hurdle and get into a U.S. medical school. Or they feel like, man, I could just go to the Caribbean right now. I feel like I'm qualified. They, they've been telling me they want me. And I feel like that might just be a route just to keep my medical career going. And I am kind of biased, but I'm objectively biased when I say I'm 90% of the time against going to the Caribbean school. And I say this and people can say whatever they want to say about it, but it is a much harder path. I'm not saying it's impossible because you absolutely can go from a Caribbean school to an American medical school. And I have had two students now do that, go to Caribbean school to American uh, residencies after the fact. But what it takes is that you excel in, in a crazy way, right? You gotta be exceptional to go from the Caribbean to a residency in America. And so for me, going to an American medical school is a much more streamlined route. So now it becomes, should you do a post back or should you do a Caribbean medical school? post backs are expensive. They delay your, your uh, medical school starting, so they're costly in that way. At the same time, they do wonders to boost your GPA and get you into American medical school. So if you're at a point where you're like, man, should I just go to the Caribbean or should I do a post back program? What I would say is this. You should only ever go to a Caribbean medical school if you're prepared to ball out. And so for some of you guys, the reason your GPA is not competitive for a U.S. medical school is because you're truly not ready to succeed and excel in medical school. And the horror stories you guys hear about people who go to the Caribbean and then have issues is because they weren't prepared to excel. I mentioned that I've had two students go to the Caribbean and come back to American residencies. I've had many other students who didn't listen to me. They went to the Caribbean and then were never heard from again, essentially. Right? They, they couldn't get the residency they wanted. And the separator between these students was that the students who were successfully who were able to successfully come back did the work. So they learned how to study. They learned how to take tests. They learned how to be disciplined. So when they went to the Caribbean, they executed, they excelled, and they were able to come back. But if you think you can be mediocre here in America in undergrad, you're gonna go over the Caribbean and continue to be mediocre, and you're gonna go into a residency, that's not factual. So if you're debating, you better be ready to buck up and succeed in the Caribbean because that's what it takes to come back and, and, and do well is you gotta be great down there. If on the other hand, you're like, you said, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, I would actually say that you're probably not ready for a post back yet either. And this is a mistake a lot of people make is they go into a post back and they're not ready. <laughs> they don't have the study skills, they don't have the test taking skills, they don't have the discipline to excel in a post back. And they think, oh, just by completing the post back, I'm gonna be in a great spot for medical school. I know you think that. But the reality is, is a post back is only as good as the grades you get in that post back. So you have to execute, and they expect medical schools do, when you're in a post back program, that you're 100% focused and you're getting all A's. Getting all B's or mostly B's in a post back program is a waste of money, time, effort, all that kind of stuff, because it's not going to do what you need to do. You need darn near all A's in a post back program. So if you're not academically ready, it's a waste of money for you. Instead, what I always try to tell people, learn how to study first and then attack it. And if you're like, listen, I'm not, you know, I, I, my study skills are pretty good and I want to continue to learn, but I'm not ready to execute at a medical school level. I go to post back, do that, work on your study skills, work on yourself in a lower risk environment because if the post back doesn't go well, you can always still go to the Caribbean, right? Because if you're qualified before, you're not going to be less qualified after a post back program. So that's what I would say. It's, it's a tough call, guys, because there's pros and cons on each side. But I think what you really have to weigh out is, am I ready to go ball out at a Caribbean school? If you're not, then a post back provides additional opportunities to improve yourself, to work on yourself, and to stay in the traditional pipeline. So think about that, guys. It's just, I mean, it can go either way. There's no right, no wrong, but it is wrong if you go down to the Caribbean and you know you're not ready. That's what I have to say. Uh, like I said, I'm Dr. Andre Pines at the Pre-Med Post Expert. If you're first time joining me, subscribe to the channel, turn on live notifications. I'm always on here. If you guys want more information about Caribbean schools and what I think about them and why I think uh, the way I do about them, I've done two or even three now very long videos, very in-depth videos with the research about Caribbean schools and about how it makes your journey to residency more difficult. Not impossible, but more difficult. So that way you can make an informed decision for yourself. And that's really what I'm about, guys. Is I try to bring you guys the tr real true information so that way you guys can make educated decisions. 
I can't make decisions for you. I can't choose your life, but I want you to be in a position to where you can choose your life to the best of your ability because you have the right information. And that's why I'm here. And I hope whatever route you guys choose, that you embody this mindset, guys. You hear me say it all the time. It's no excuses. We just dominate, guys. Try to step your bar up, your standard up, and excel. Thank you guys very much. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med put the experts show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.